welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome to today's video notification shout out goes to bird at 9465 thank you thank you so much for still being here I love you I will continue to pray for you and thank you so much for sharing something so deep it takes a lot of courage to do so and I just want you to know that you are loved and I thank you for being here and I feel you so thank you so much I love you I hope you feel it I hope anybody feels my love and knows that I want you here I want you here if you're going through a hard time our community is so amazing just come and I bet you anything you could chat it up in the comments I love you and just know that we want you here I love you so much I feel you when I read your comment I love you and don't ever apologize so a few of you have been telling me that you guys do hit the notification but you guys are not notified so what I've been told is to unsubscribe subscribe again then hit the bell and leave a comment and that lets YouTube know like okay they're interested in this content because sometimes I upload videos and you might not be like oh I want to watch a TJ Maxx haul or oh I want to watch a vlog you guys are not interested in those kind of videos that I put out so when you guys don't click on that YouTube is like okay they don't like these videos from this creator but for those who like the story times you just have to leave your comment and be active on those videos so that they know so YouTube knows okay these are the videos they want to see from this creator you know what I mean chili bean oh my lips feel plump right now they feel like very <sighs> my liga is slipping all right y'all today's video I'm gonna give you guys a huge 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 disclaimer it is going to be extremely heavy i'm going to be talking about a lot a lot of deep stuff so please watch with caution i have tried to film this video three times already and i get super duper emotional it's okay to show emotion especially when something still hurts you so deeply but i feel like it gets to a point where you guys can't even understand what i'm saying and it's just my inner child crying and I'm not trying to silence her or anything, but I'm like trying to get through it so I can like talk to you guys about it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I did upload a video previous to this and you guys are like, Jade, keep it in order. And I 100% agree. I feel like I tend to like try to cater to like everybody and I just, I just love you guys. You guys are like, no, mm -mm, not having it. No, don't, don't do it. But you guys were so sweet about it and I just want to say thank you thank you so much especially because I am such a sensitive person lately and I just feel like you guys understand me on a whole different level than like so many people and it it's crazy I just want to say thank you so much so sit back relax let me know what you guys are doing what you guys are doing if you guys are driving if you guys are cooking anything let your know leave the recipe me and my baby love to cook if you guys are driving somewhere far, where are you guys driving? Let me know. How has your week been? How has your day been? I would love to know. Leave it down below. Okay, close your eyes. Just do it. And let me just pick all the bad vibes, bad energy, sadness. Let me just pick it all away. As I'm picking, breathe. And then exhale. Okay. Mm. Oh, and let's get into this story time. Boom. Chicka bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, chicka bing, bing, bing. Oh, all right, y'all. We are going to get into the story time. These lights make me freaking sweat, y'all. And I think where it's becoming summer too, it's like extra hot in here. My mustache be sweating. My nose pores be sweating. Like what kind of stuff is that? Is that even a thing? Does anyone know sweat like beads of sweat? I'm like, feel like I'm constantly touching my nose. <sighs> And having to like detox it and like pick at it like I even went to Marshall's and I picked up this baby right here this is the precision tip blackhead tweezer let's just I must let y'all know I got a lot of stuff out a lot so Sam tells me that she gave mr. peach mrs. peach my diary my heart went to my asshole I was 
I couldn't breathe. Have you ever got the the wind knocked out of you? It's like that. It's wow. I felt like I could not stay still long enough to try and go back in time. Like I swear, I always thought like I could, what if I have a superpower? Maybe this is why my life is like this. And you know, like I feel like Disney Channel be messy with kids sometimes, like me, who wish so hard that they can go back and like change or rewind time and all kinds of things, right? So I'm like trying to act like I'm stuck, but I can't, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like just going through the the place, like oh, I'm like freaking out, I don't, I don't know how to feel. There's so many personal, personal things in this diary. Like there's so much I don't share with y'all because it is just too raw. It is too raw, it's too, it's too heavy. Where even when I hear other people talk about their heavy stuff, I'm like, because I am like, oh my, I'm in the same boat, but it feels so like, oh my God, like you feel too seen, you know? And it's just, Oh, I, I just felt so violated. I could not believe that she would stoop this low. I was hurt. Honestly, I was hurt. I could not, I couldn't even like, I couldn't even swallow. I felt like I just got punched in the, the gut and the throat, upper credit. I felt like I had been handled. I was just, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. So I start texting Spice, Sugar, Tommy and I'm like telling them what happened because I felt like I needed backup. I felt like y'all we right at dawn like I felt so Conflicted with so many emotions and I was just like, oh my god What do I do and immediately they just hit me with like, you know that bitch is grimy I told you but 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 and I'm like, yeah, I know I'm like, but I'm still like I I am in disbelief that she would stoop this low like I, I was just because you know someone's grimy but like to to just like it was just a whole nother level of like betrayal because I'm telling y'all like it was just like some crazy stuff in there I don't know what I wanted from them I don't know what I wanted them to do I didn't want them to hurt her because I still feel like that would be dirty you know to like jump on somebody like that I just I was just like oh my like calm me down calm me down you know because I felt crazy like I felt like ugh. like this isn't happening this isn't happening because I don't know what they're thinking I don't know how, how they're gonna feel towards me like it's just like now like I just want I just remember, like, I'm still freaking out now. Can you imagine how? Little me is freaking out, like, explaining to them, like, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And then just be like, let's just beat our ass. And it's like, no, I can't make these people see what they, I'm reading about me. I can't run over there and like snatch it back and be like, let me do some magic uppercut double tap shit to make you unread that because you already think this of me. Imagine seeing like all this. It's a big deal. It, it, it wouldn't bother me like if my mom, you know how my mom has read it. And if like my mom was like, oh, I read it again, it wouldn't bother me. But like when it's people that like, you know, don't love you, it's just, it's a whole different. And the way she did it, you know? So I'm like freaking out. I, I'm like fidgeting, I'm like shivering because I'm like scared, I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God, like I, I can't control the situation. I am terrified. And they just want to be her ass. They just want to oh, let's do this, like, let's meet up. And I'm like, I just wanted them to, like, hear me and be like, it's gonna be okay. Tommy is infuriated because she's like, why do you let them get to you like this? Why do you give these people so much power? 
was ten, 10 toes down and be like, I don't give a fuck. So I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Them. and if they read it so what and what and what like what y'all gonna do about it like and like and it wasn't even like if I was like writing like you know like oh <laughs> I wiped my ass with their toothbrush you know it wasn't like if I was writing that kind of stuff it was more of like the intimate things me being intimate with like so and like me feeling this way and like the things that happened between me and my stepdad like the nightmares I would have. It's like someone going in your brain and you just like not having control of like getting them out. It's violating. Especially because like these people don't share blood with me. These people don't have like the, their like the best intentions for me. You know what I mean? It would be different if it was like my mom my grandma, my brother. <sighs> I write down every detail, every emotion, every goosebump that I felt when like I would feel scared or uncomfortable and imagine like a pervert reading it and getting to like visualize you know what I mean it was heavy it was super heavy and I felt like I was going through these emotional feelings of a roller coaster i was angry i was upset i was scared i was sad i felt like i was just going crazy like i was felt like these were my emotions and they were just being shook like that and i just didn't know how to feel and then when it finally would settle boom it would go again and i would just i didn't know what to feel i felt like i was going insane i was going crazy i felt like it was just, I couldn't handle it. It was so much. I just wanted my mom to come through the door and just like pick me up. And I felt like I could just melt into her arms. And it was going to be okay. It was going to be fine. It was just going to be like an Ouija board. And all the, all the nastiness was going to be erased. And it was going to be okay. We are going to start over. So. They weren't comforting me in the way I wanted to. And it wasn't their responsibility to do so. It wasn't. They were having a normal reaction beat her ass no more reaction of dust the dust off you're good chin up you're good tommy told me that she could go get me but it couldn't be right now but that she could go get me that just to i decided to take another shower because i just wanted to silence the thoughts and i prayed and i prayed hard I prayed super duper hard. So I text Sam and I'm like, why did you do that? Like, what was the reason? She's replying to me, why not? I just want to make sure you're okay. Now, it's so scary how she was so good with like her tactics. <laughs> she was a lifetime movie. So I just said, okay. I just looked at that because I know I'm not going to get anywhere. And I know she probably has someone reading her messages. I know she's probably trying to cover her culo. So I'm like, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. I just sit on the bed trying to calm myself down. And I'm trying to remember like everything I wrote in there of like why they might be upset. Where there would be times where I would complain about how the kids wouldn't listen or about this and that. Yes, there would be. There would be. I'm a teenager of course but you think I didn't have emotion you think I didn't get angry yeah I was terrified of the consequence that I was going to have to face and I was pissed off at the same time because I couldn't just leave if I was just like what what's gonna happen what if I go out there and something happens so as some time passes by 
there's a knock on the door and I don't even get up because <laughs> my mind automatically goes to crackhead. <laughs> it's a crackhead at the door. They probably hear my cries, something, I don't know. And then I hear the door handle twist. My heart, I feel like is going crazy, you guys, because I'm so scared of what is going to happen. Oh my God, like, I'm going to have to explain this and explain that. It's so unnecessary how much I felt responsible for other people's feelings of how I'm, how they made me feel, but yet I'm still being considerate of how they're going to feel, how, how they're gonna be hurt. In walks Mr. Peach, totally my dairy, Mrs. Peach, and Sam. They all walk in, super just, I go forward and I'm trying to go for my diary. He doesn't give me my diary, he kind of holds on to it. And it is just very like uncomfortable. Everyone feels like on edge. They had brought another person that was kind of by, by the door, doorway. His name was Mr. Brown. He was a family friend of theirs and he had dealt with children and he was kind of like a counselor. I guess they were at a family like thing, family gathering, whatever. He was there, Mr. Peach confided in him and kind of gave him some details of what happened between my stepdad, but not too much, supposedly. He decided to tag along. He came in, he introduced himself. I'm kind of like thrown off, like who the f is this guy? Because it just felt really weird. It felt like this was unnecessary. I don't know. It felt very weird because I felt like we were going to focus more on me writing about them. But when we started talking sam pretty much just brought up the part of like me and my stepdad which i don't know if she went through all of it i don't know if she was just like okay i want to piss off alexis but i don't want to piss her off too much i don't know what her intention was and the discussions that me and sam have had previous it's very hard it's very hard because I feel like I always want answers for every single little detail and not everyone is going to give you every single answer for every little detail and it sucks because I feel like if I have hurt you I would tell you exactly why what made me do it how did I feel what was my intention behind it etc etc and I feel like not that many people give you the same energy back I don't know why so mr. Brown is sitting sitting down and he's asking me like are you okay? Mr. Peach told me that this, 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 and I'm just, I don't feel comfortable. Mrs. Peach can automatically like read my face and she's like, you know what? Maybe this is, this isn't the time. Mr. Peach is like looking at her and I honestly don't understand like what was the reason? Like I don't get it. Like I don't get it. It, it kind of reminds me of like when you try to include a tia into the chisme and the child is like, what the doing here and it reminded me so much of that and if you read about what my stepdad did to me why the fuck would you bring another man into the circle huh How, what would make you think that i feel comfortable around another man you stupid bitch like i don't understand the fucking intention what is wrong with you what is wrong with you like i don't fucking get it i don't understand i honestly don't and i can't be like oh you had a good Good intention, good heart. I don't get it. Brown tries to go into, well, I want you to know that they really care about you. I don't, I was just like, I was so confused. I was so confused. I did not understand what was going on. I was just like, okay. I just remember, like, I hope my face reads what the f are you doing here? Because I felt so weird. I felt so weird. I was so uncomfortable. Like, why are you here? Mr. Peach tries to explain, like, he's worked with kids who have been hurt. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what do you mean? I was like, okay. Mrs. Peach ends up telling Brown just to go downstairs and wait in the car. That, like, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Maybe this just wasn't a good idea right now. Uh, you think? Like, this is weird. Like, okay. He leaves and I'm like, thank goodness. He tells me like, oh, just know that like, you know, you do have help. 
what are you doing? Like, what, what? I, I did not understand. I felt so weird. Like, I felt so like, okay. I felt so scared. I felt like, uh, what is about to happen? Like, it was crazy, you guys. Like, I don't, I don't get the intention of him coming. Like, I don't get it. I don't know if they were trying to throw me off. I don't know. I don't know if it's like, he's just somebody who just like inserted himself. And look, Mr. Peach was like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna go and I don't know like I honestly don't understand I don't know uh, why he was there he says because he's dealt with kids but it was so weird it honestly was just I don't I don't I don't know so he leaves and Mr. Peach asks me like if I'm okay that Sam gave him my book and he goes I haven't had the chance I haven't had the chance to read through it all, but the pages that I did read, ay, Alexis, estas bien, mija, touches me, and I just, oh. and I just thought, I'm like, I don't want to talk to you about it. And then he tells me, well, that's why, that's why I brought my good friend, and he deals with situ, like, I was just like, what? I'm like, why would I talk to a stranger? Like, what? And it was so weird. It was so weird. It was so weird. Like, I don't understand. I do not get it. I, I am like, what? Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mr. Peach asks me that if I have talked to someone, I, yep, yep, yep. Because I have. I talked to my my middle school counselor, my element elementary counselor. I talked to my elementary counselor in detail so much about everything that happened that I honest to God thought that if I told him every single little thing that my stepdad would go away. Okay? I talked to my middle school counselor and told him every single thing. But I don't know what happened. I don't know if they were like, I don't know if it's a pick and choose. I don't know if it's a pick and choose. That does not mean at the same time, do not tell and ask people for help, okay? Don't twist my words, don't. When I went into this little baby juvie that I went to, I remember telling them, and then my mom telling them like, yeah, it's okay for her to come home. I don't know if my mom told them a lie, like, oh yeah, he's not here, I don't know. All I know is I told so many people what was going on and it fell on death ears, okay? I literally gave all the details of every single thing that was going on and nothing happened, okay? Nothing happened until I got older and I took it into my own hands, okay? So when I tell Mr. Peach, yeah, I've talked to people. I've already done what I'm supposed to do. I'm just waiting. And he looks at me with such pity because I know he read all the nasty details in there. And he just looks at me. Okay, do you want to talk about it? Why the f would I want to talk about it? Again. What does it do? Does it erase anything? Or does it open the wound and I bleed? And you guys just sit there looking at me as I bleed. Are you going to bandage it up? Are you going to make it better? No. You guys are like alcohol that is being poured on my wound. No, I don't want to talk about it. He proceeds to ask me. I just don't understand, Mika. You told your mom all these things? And I'm just looking at him. Trying to hold my chin up high. Yeah, I told her. All of it. I just don't understand, Alexis. Like, if your mom... Is she still with him? Yeah. And it happened in Mexico too? 
Yeah. I don't know, Mija. Because this is, this is me reading it. This is crazy. You know that, right? Like, this is, I just don't understand how someone would stay. And I'm like, okay, like, I, how do you want me to answer for my mom? Huh? How do you expect a child to uh, answer for a pervert's f***ing reasons for doing something? Mrs. Peach insults me and says, someone who has gone through so much, do you think they would be covered up more? And I was in my, my, my white tank top. I love this tank top. I don't know why. I, I just think it looks so cute. And I'm like, okay. It's just like, well, it's because like I've known a lot of girls who have, you know, gone through the same thing and they're always covered up. I'm like, yeah, there's times where I do cover up because I feel gross. It's just, you don't, you, you don't feel gross all the time. So it, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And I'm like, Okay, like I just, and I'm just looking at Sam because I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get the intention. I don't get it. I can see like if y'all really cared, you guys think you guys would call the cops, right? Like what was the intention? And I'm just looking at Sam. She can't dare to look up. She's just like, and I think she probably thinks like, oh, this probably this went too far. I, I, I don't know. So Mr. Mr. Peach just goes. If this did happen to you, Alexis, I'm sorry. It makes so much sense. I didn't ask him to elaborate. I'm like, oh, what do you mean that makes so much sense? Like, what are you talking about? And is this Peach just sitting there like a stupid bitch? Just. I go for my diary again and he kind of just pulls back and I'm like give me my diary like give me my diary like I don't think this is right you guys going through my stuff and he says that I'm under his house his rules that he needs to make sure that I'm taken care of and he did not know that this was going on and I'm like my stepdad's not touching me now of course this is when I was younger like We go back and forth of, so what is being done? Are you okay? Is this why your mom's crazy? And Sam goes, she's not crazy because of Alexis. She's crazy because of that guy. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Oh, holy crap times I filmed this and I cannot get hope <laughs> so I'm crying 
because I, I can instant blow it in my heart. And he goes, I need hot. No, that's not what I meant. And he tries to touch me and I'm just like. <laughs> he gets mad because like I'm pushing him away. He goes, oh, get the end. It's like, we're trying to be here for you. I like how you're acting. And I'm like, I'm sorry. It's just, it just feels so weird. Like I don't like to be touched when we're talking about the situation. Mrs. Beach goes. Okay, okay. She tells Mr. Beach to go and take Brown home that her and Sam are going to stay with me. And he goes, okay, okay. And he gets up and he's still holding my diary. And I'm like, can I please have my diary? He goes, I still want to talk about some things in here. I, I need you to know that like, we're here for you. I'm like, give me my f***ing diary. And I'm like screaming at him and he goes, relax, but why are you so crazy? I'm like, give me my fucking diary now, now. And I'm like screaming and he chucks it, like he chucks it, like ugly, that just like chucks it. I go and pick it up and I just like lock myself in the restroom. He starts telling Mrs. Peach that. Oh my gosh, que loquita. Like, I'm so crazy, loquita. Like, I'm crazy. I'm just, like, holding on to my diary. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I start ripping some pages out. Because I feel like he's going to come back and he's going to read my diary. So I'm, like, ripping some pages. And I start shoving him down the toilet because I'm like, if I put him in, what if I put him in the trash can and they put him together or something? I don't know. So I start ripping them and just flushing. And then I just stop because I'm like, no, I, I don't want to do that. I want this. And I'm just like, oh. holding on to my diary. And I call Tammy and I'm like, Tammy, can you just come pick me up? And she's like, what? are you crying why are you letting them get to you and I'm like I don't know I'm like can you just come pick me up like I got my diary back they came back and she tells me that she's like 45 minutes away she's like I will be there like I will be there let them know that someone is gonna come and get you like let them know like I want to hear you say it and I'm like okay yeah I'll let them know a couple moments minutes pass by and Mrs. Peach knocks on the door. But it's not like a hard knock. It's a calm knock, like a... Alexis, can you please come out, mija? It grinds my f***ing gears that they were calling me mija because I know they were just baiting me. And I tell her, yeah, I'll come out in a minute. Please give me a, please give me a moment, please. A message comes in and it's Sam and she's so apologizing and she's so sorry that she didn't think that she that it was gonna go this far and she's so sorry that Brown has talked to her before and she's so sorry that she's so sorry that she'll do anything to please forgive her <laughs> there's a lot of crying I told y'all I told y'all so she's apologizing and she's saying she's so sorry that it never meant to go this far. That she is so sorry and she will do anything and everything to make it right. Anything and everything, she kept saying. I just left her unread pretty much because I didn't want to write her and be like, oh yeah, it's okay. Or try to understand because I didn't want to so I come out and I have my diary and I go straight to my bag and I just put it put it in my stuff and I just close it and I put it on but the way like the backpack is faced this way so like no one can just go behind you put, you know what I mean and I sit down and Mrs. Peaches goes where are you going and I tell her 
that my aunt is picking me up. Hi, Alexis, ¿por qué estás tan dramática? I'm not. She's going to come pick me up. ¿Por qué? We try to be helpful and like, look how you get. Like, it's so hard, mija. It's so hard to be there for you. And all you want to do is run. You want to run. And I tell her like, no, this wasn't the way. You guys calling that guy brown, this was not the way. And Sam tells her like, yeah, why did you guys even tell her? She just told you guys and tries to like tell Mrs. Peach, like, why did you do all that? And she's like, we didn't tell him everything. We just said that her stepdad had did some things to her. We didn't have, we didn't tell him everything. And she's like, but still. And I'm like, even that, like, why would you do that? And she's telling me that I'm a child and that she's trying to get me help that I don't understand now, but I will as an adult. I don't. <laughs> She tells me to relax, that to relax, just to just to talk to her, just to talk to her. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you. I don't trust you, I don't feel comfortable around you. And I am just, you know, telling her that I'm going to leave. She calls Mr. Peach and she tells him that I'm leaving. He tells her, I guess, not to let me leave. And she goes, I can't stop her, her tia is coming. No, I don't want her to leave like this. Blah, 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 blah. She goes off the phone and she tells me, Alexis, we don't want you to leave like this. He's concerned. He doesn't want you just to leave with whoever. And I'm like, I'm not leaving with whoever. I'm leaving, I'm leaving with my tia. She tells me that they just want to help. And she's sorry if it came across any different. But that she just wants to help. And she just wants to understand. And she just doesn't understand how my mom knowing all these details... All these details. How could she could still want to be my stepdad? How do I tell her? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Huh? Like, I don't, I don't get it. She goes, but me, I don't, I don't get it. He put his tongue in your mouth. I don't get it. Me either. She starts saying all the other details that I'm not going to share. And I'm like, yeah. Yes. She cries. It makes sense. That's why you don't respect yourself because, and I'm just like, this isn't doing what your thing is doing. <laughs> You're making me feel like shit. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Like, because even as a child, I'm so confused because I'm like, you're being that's a, that's a, you're being backhanded. So she was tripping out about how you would kiss me goodnight, and I'm like. Your mom still talks to him and he did this and that and your mom <laughs> she starts to go into the massages and I just I'm like stop stop she goes I'm trying to understand I'm trying to get the details so I can help this isn't helping. Stop. I just get up and I book it. I book it. I just remember like just and leaving. Sam comes after me. She's like, Alexis, Alexis, stop, please, 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 please. Like she's like freaking out. And I'm like, dude, like, I can't, like, I can't, like, I can't. And in my mind at the time, I'm thinking, like, this is what I wanted my mom to do. I wanted my mom to repeat everything that I had told her back. Because, like, maybe it would click. Maybe it would click. And I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I go to the front desk lady, and Sam's right there with me. And I'm like... 
can I can I sit right here? Like, can I sit right here? Like, my ride's gonna pick me up. Like, can I sit right here? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Do you, do you need do you need anything? You need water? You need not like I just I just need to sit right here. So I'm calling Tammy. And I'm like, you need to come pick me up. You need to come pick me up. And she tells me like, okay, I'm like 20 minutes out. Like, just try to be calm. Just try to be calm if you want. Walk to the nearest gas station. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay right here. Mrs. Peach comes down and she tells me, I'm like, this is why are you being so dramatic? And I'm like, I'm not. Like, I don't know how to explain this. I don't want to talk about it anymore. She tells me, like, okay, okay, we won't talk about it no more. I'm just trying to get to understand you. And I'm like, this isn't the way. This isn't the way. The way that she was doing it, you guys, was like. So I'm like, nope. So I'm like crying like I am now. I'm like trying to like wave her away. I'm like so angry. I'm just, I'm just like trying to process everything and I'm like cause for so long even into my adulthood I felt like maybe it wasn't a big deal and then when someone would talk about it or I would talk about it I would be like oh my god God, that's so disgusting. So we go back and forth for a little bit and I finally calm down and she tells me like to please go back up to the room. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna sit here. And she goes, okay. And she starts to get frustrated where she's like, okay, Sam can stay with you until your Thea comes. And I'm like, which was probably the best because I feel like if she was there when Tommy showed up, it probably would have went another way, which it should have because they needed to get handled. <sighs> Sam just sits there and she's like just holding my hand and I just let her because I feel like what if it wasn't her intention for it to go this far was it nasty yes but I don't think it was her intention that I would go this far I really don't and does that make me dumb okay but I don't think that she meant it to go this far and at the end of the day we have to remember Sam herself was a child so I'm just sitting there and she's just holding my hand and she just keeps telling me like she's sorry like I'm so sorry and I'm like mm-hmm 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 Tammy calls me and she tells me she's in front and I get up and Sam goes for a hug and I just I just leave I just leave I get in the car with Tammy and I start to ball and she's asking me what happened is everything okay that she just she, she has to get off and she has to kick their ass and I'm like I just feel gross <sighs> they read a part of my diary about with my stepdad and Tommy just stops me and she goes oh, I just stop please I can't I can't I'm like, okay, because it's, it's fine. It's fine. And she's like, just, just tell me what you need. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I just drive. So we just drive. And she just keeps looking over at me. And I'm just like trying to like, okay. And Mrs. Peach messages me. She tells me that she's sorry, that it was just her intention to be there for me and that she did not mean to get me like, like that. And she's never seen me freak out like that, that like she doesn't even recognize me, that she can't believe I got like that. And it honestly just felt like they were just making me out to be crazy. <sighs> I'll be back, y'all. I need to calm down for a minute. So we go driving for a little bit. I calm down a little bit. Tommy starts to crack some jokes, gets the mood going, and I start to like laugh, start to feel better. Laughter is such a great medicine. We get some snacks and we head back to her casa. And as soon as we pull up, she goes, don't worry, you don't have to babysit, none of that. It's not my week. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I feel like a bitch because I could be so mean to Tommy at times, especially about babysitting. And she was there. She didn't have to be there, but she was there. And I always have love and respect for Tommy. So we go inside and we're just chilling. We're just having like a little kickback. Just me and her just chilling. 
she asks me that if it's okay if her friend comes over and i'm like sure house it's cool whatever and she ends up bringing one of her friends over that she was talking to at the time i'm just chilling they're having a good time they're vibing out whatever they're getting along great i just knock out and i just remember waking up and my mama was right there she was in one of her good moods which i don't know if Tommy had told her which I don't think so because I feel like my mom would have went 0 to 100 and my mom was just on Going good, you know, so my mama asks me if I'm hungry or anything and I'm like, yeah So we go to her favorite spot to freaking have breakfast and Tommy comes along And it's just like good vibes y'all like it was just like good vibes My mom was like in a good mood. It just sucked how freaking hot and cold my mom was all the damn time and it wasn't fair to Tommy either because my mom would say some hurtful stuff to her. And I'm not saying like, oh, just because you're blood, you have to put up with someone's actions. You don't. But blood does tend to use that as an excuse to stick around and be like, but they're family. Tommy wasn't blood related to us and she stuck around. Just chilling. My mom gets a phone call and it's from my stepdad and... My mom is like annoyed with him and starts going off on him. And my mom tells me if I wanted to go with her to go pick up my brothers. And I'm like, no, I'll wait here because I don't want to see my stepdad. I don't want to deal with the drama with any of that or him say anything. I don't want to deal with it. And I don't know if it's because like my mom would quickly forget or she was just like, I'm going to invite you even though you're going to say no just so that I invite you, you know? So I hadn't looked at my phone at all because I did not want to be bombarded with any sort of messages from anybody. I was just like out of sight, out of mind. I do not care. So my mom and Tammy end up leaving me at the place, which I was okay with because I did not want to go. My mom is in a good mood and everything just seems like really just chill. Very chill very calm and i'm just like really excited that she's in a good mood after the crappy day i just had well night and i kind of wanted to talk to my mom about it but i was kind of treading light because i didn't want my mom to go to, from zero to 100 it was just so hard like <sighs> communicate with my mom because she sometimes just wouldn't listen she would just react and sometimes it's okay to react but first listen and then react you know anyways so everything seems like it's going good everything seems like it's going fine handy dory whatever and i noticed that time is like passing by and i'm like where the hell are my siblings like where are they time is going by forever forever and i get a message and tammy tells me to call her which I think is so funny when people say like, oh, call me. Like, why can't you just call me? But maybe because like they don't want to look like the one like to whatever. So I call her and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she goes, um, I don't think your mom's going to be coming home. And I'm like, why? What are you talking about? She's like, yeah. Um, so her and she says his name. We're fighting and... Your mom's getting booked. I'm like, what the f are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? So my mom and him got into an argument. I don't know about what. And he pressed charges on my mom. Isn't that ironic? How f quick that little bitch would press charges on my mom? And my mom didn't? Okay, yeah. So I'm like mad because I am like, you have to be fucking kidding me. Like, are you serious right now? Yep. So where are my brothers? They're right here. So I can hear my brothers crying and I can hear their piece of shit of a father going, you fucking mother fucking fucking bitch to my mom. And my mom just screaming. So I tell her, I'm like, so what's going to happen? And she tells me, look how pretty that is. That he won't give her my brothers. I'm like, well, yeah. Like, why would he give you my brothers? Like, but I guess my mom was telling Tammy to take my brothers. But for what, mom? 
What is she gonna do with them? So I'm like, okay. So I just hang up on her and I'm like, oh my, oh my God. So I had to make the phone call to my grandma because we would let her know when my mom would get locked up. So I call my mom, my grandma, and I let her know getting, I get into it with my grandma because my grandma has a nasty way of talking and I can't be chill sometimes with my grandma. So we get into it because my grandma goes, so this is what you wanted, huh? This is what you wanted. So you could do whatever the F you want. Little did she know I did whatever the f I wanted regardless if she was in or out because her daughter did not care. So my mom would be telling my grandma a different story and my grandma would believe it until my grandma started to see how my mom really was. And then my grandma changed her tune with me but for the longest, my grandma thought a different thing of me. So me and her get into it and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why he called, I don't know. She said she was gonna go over there to get the kids. And then I called her friend and then this is what happened. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, okay, well that's what happened and that's what I got. So I don't know what you want me to do. She tells me to tell my stepdad to let my mom's friend get my brothers and i'm like i'm not gonna tell him anything <laughs> she screams did you not hear what i just told you i told you to tell and i tell her i'm not talking to him she kind of gets quiet because i think she's trying to like process how to get me to do what she wants but she doesn't know how because my grandma's used to just like screaming all the time and getting what she wants because that's my grandma she would always scream and then we were just supposed to like listen. But during this time I was like, nah. And I always had a hard time listening to my grandma because I was just so angry all the time. And I didn't like how my grandma treated me. Was it right? No. But did I do it? Yeah. I was an angry little kid. My grandma is just very, she was raised differently. So she's very, very, very harsh. There's a way of being disciplined, but the way my grandma is, she tries to like break you down and then build you up. And it's just, it is just very toxic. Anyways, so she's like screaming at me, <sighs> telling me that, do I not want my brothers? Do you not want your brothers? Do you need to take care of them? And then she changed her tune with, they need to be with their dad because I'm out doing whatever I want and it takes a man to raise a man. I'm like, okay, because I, I get annoyed because I'm like, he's not a man. And my grandma knows the hurt that he has done. And it is just so uh, frustrating to hear that. It's so frustrating even to hear people talk about my stepdad now and be like, I know what he did was wrong. I'm not taking that away from you. I know what he did was wrong. Disgusting. Like, I don't even want to be affiliated. But, bitch, there's no but. There's no but. Out of my face, you stupid dumb bitch. Fuck out of my face. There's no fucking butt. You're gonna butt to a pedophile? Get the f out of my face, you fucking bitch. How stupid is that? But, but nothing. You dumbass. I'm just left there. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> I got no one to report to, pretty much. I just have to now wait for my mom to be booked. And then her call me and we go through the whole thing again. But I am a little irritated. And I'm like, you know what? F him. He got his little feelings hurt because my mom probably read him for filth. Hmm. So I decide to call him. He answers and he's like, get back off. And I just start going off on him, start cussing him out. He hangs up and I'm just calling him back, calling him back, calling him back, cussing him out, cussing him out. <sighs> Eventually he stops answering and I'm like, okay, what do I do now? What do I do now? I'm still mad. So I start texting him. I start texting him and I start telling him all the filthy things that he is. And I can't believe he called the cops on my mom, that he's a little bitch and that i hope my brothers never get to see him that his day is going to come and they are going to see him for what he is so i'm just going off on him going off on him and he's just apologizing like i'm sorry alexis i'm sorry 
God will be the one to judge me. And I'm like, shut the f up. It's going off, going off and just writing him over and over and over and over. I was so stuck on just messaging him over and over and over her. Tammy walks through the door and she's like, what are you doing? And I tell her what I'm doing. She snatches my phone and tells me just to stop. That it's not going to do anything. I'm just going to stress him out and he's probably going to take it out on my siblings and be an asshole to them. I'm like, okay. So I leave it. She tells me if I'm okay. I tell her, yeah. She tells me that a little bit. We're going to go and see my mom. Almost my mom is like booked and everything. And I kind of just like laugh to myself because that's like the probably the most time I see my mom is when she's in timeout. So I'm like, all right. We just chill for a little bit. We hit the road. Tammy goes in first to see my mom. Talk to her. She's probably going to tell her like this, is this, 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 whatever. Tammy's in there for a while and I'm like, hmm, okay. Just chilling there on my phone. I got messages from Peach. Got messages from Sam. Got messages from Mr. Peach. But I'm not opening them. Like I'm not. I don't want to open them because I don't want to go through it. And I feel like I deserve to be upset because what happened was not okay. And it didn't need to go that far. It didn't need to be, it didn't need to happen at all. Like period, it didn't. So I'm just chilling there, having a grand old time and I get a private call. I'm thinking it's going to be the ex, you know? And I'm like, oh, it's been a minute since we talked, whatever, you know? So I let it ring for a little bit because I'm like, I can't appear desperate. It rings for a little bit, I answer it, and before the person can even say like, hello, I'm like, you miss me? To be like funny, right? And it's Mr. Peach, and he goes, excuse me? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was someone else. Which completely made me look bad, you know? Especially how, oh, it makes so much sense now, you know? And I'm like, oh, yes? And he's like, what do you mean yes? I'm like, yes, like why are you calling, you know? And he goes, I just want to make sure that you're okay. And I want you to know how sorry we are. Our approach was, you know, they had good intentions, but it came across so different. And he is so sorry. And he wants me to know that I am more than welcomed at their house anytime. And he is so sorry for violating my privacy and going through my diary, even though I live in his house that it was still not okay and he had no right to. He seems like he was very like sincere about it. And I told him like, okay. He tells me that he does not want to lose me as not just a nanny, but as family. I really wanna hear what the hits. Because oh, last time I did my yeah, dishes. I told you last time I did my dishes and I lost some more hands. He's like, no, they're still yours. They just be coming in and out whenever they want. Can I get in them goods? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, so it seems like a sincere apology. Mrs. Peach gets on the phone. She says, Alexis, I'm so sorry. I now am rethinking the things that I said and they were not okay. And they want me to be over for dinner. They want to talk to me and let me know that they are there for me and that I should talk to Mr. Brown and he could probably help with expressing like these feelings and stuff like that that I have. But if I don't want to, that is completely fine that Sam has went to him and she has talked to him in the past and he has helped her a lot. Okay. It seemed like a sincere, like, you know, they were trying, they, they knew they messed up and their approach was not okay. Especially Mrs. Peach. I feel like she was just, that woman was not raised correctly or I don't know what happened to her. She got dropped in her head or something. So we hang up the phone and I get a call and it's from Sam. She doesn't bother to block the number. She just calls and I answer it. I'm like, hello. She's like, oh, I thought I was gonna get your voicemail. I'm like, okay, but you didn't. She tells me that she's sorry and that she had no right to give them my diary, that she was just really angry that I had left her and that she does now realize that it was extremely petty and she had no right to give them my diary and she is very sorry. She then asks me like if I am going to go over for dinner and that she does want to apologize and she doesn't want to lose me either and that she's really, really sorry that she doesn't know why she acts like this and that you please forgive her and she goes on a whole thing, right? 
I'm just listening and she's like, what are you doing right now? And to be a bitch and to, I don't know, be toxic. I'm waiting for Joe to come back with our food and then I just hang up. I didn't have to, but I wanted to because I was just so annoyed with her and I didn't need it to continue. I could have just stopped the pettiness, but no. I was like, mm, let me just, one good kick, one good kick. So she calls back again, but the call ends pretty quickly where I think like maybe she's just like, was like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. Or she probably was like, I'm gonna call Joe. Eventually Tommy comes out and she says, we can't see my mom because they still haven't got her in yet. And asks me like where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. And I just tell her like, I don't really know. Like I'm cool with chilling with you. I don't know where to go. I'm like, do you want me to go somewhere? Cause like, I didn't know if she was cool with me staying with her and I wasn't just going to like throw myself on her either. And at the same time, I'm just like, dang, so much has like happened. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna chill? We're gonna hang out? What are we gonna do? This stuff mattified my face pretty good. It's the new Smashbox one. Pretty good. I tell her like, I'm cool with whatever you wanna do. She said she was going to go to her brother's birthday party that if I wanted to go, she was just gonna just chill for a little bit, hang out with him. Okay. I didn't know where to go. Even though they did invite me, Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach to dinner. I didn't want to seem desperate and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go right away, you know? No, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fold so quickly. So I ended up going with her to her brother's kid's birthday party and it was actually pretty fun, like it was. I felt like everything was just chill, good vibes, good cooking. It was some good, good cooking. They got down on the grill. It was so freaking good. And it was just good vibes. Like they treated me like a kid, not like a teen adult. They te treated me like a kid. It wasn't no like, oh, do you want to hit this? Oh, you want a beer? None of that. They treated me like a child. You know, and it was fun. I was playing freeze tag. I was having a good time. There were some cute boys there. Just having the time that I should have been having. We eventually had to leave because Tommy got into it with her mama and we had to leave. Bummer, but it is what it is. So we ended up leaving and we head back to her casa. She asks me if I have any plans and I kind of just like let her know like I don't but if you need me to have plans I can make some plans and she tells me in the nicest way that like yeah just for a few hours because she's going to have her friend over and she didn't know all this was going to happen and I'm like yeah I get it I get it and she's like but if you need to stay it's fine I can cancel I'm like no it's okay I get it like I get it I end up hitting up like, like an old old girlfriend hang out at her place it was so awkward because i'm such a bitch i was just using her to go to her house like it was so awkward we hadn't hung out since like elementary and even she was like oh uh, yeah sure when i asked if i could go to her house like i freaking hated how i was just freaking bum you know around like it sucked so we'll call her i'll call her glow okay so i asked glow hey glow long time no talk and she would write on my MySpace stuff. So like, it wasn't like too weird, you know, but it was pretty weird for me to slide up in her DMs. Like, do you want to hang out? Cause she was like, uh, okay. I needed somewhere to go so Tommy could get her. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's hang out. So I went to Glow's, we were, we were kicking it for like a cool minute. And then it was just like, <sighs> the vibes were like off because she was like, um, so, we're gonna have dinner now. And it wasn't like, a, oh, my mom wants to know if you wanna stay for dinner. It was a, we're gonna have dinner now so you need to get the out, you know? So I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, I totally get it. So she lived around where my ex lived. So I ended up messaging him, asked him like, hey, what are you doing right now? And he tells me that he's babysitting. Why? And I'm like, oh, just wondering. And he just says, come over. I was like, okay, cool. Cause that's what I was hoping you would say because I found nowhere to go <laughs> at that time. I'm not gonna front y'all. I know I act like, oh, I didn't need him. I was stupid obsessed with him. So if it worked out, it worked out, you know? 
So I ended up going over, helped him babysit, and it was pretty cool. It was all right. I helped him babysit, and right away I was like, Ugh, because I know what came with like visiting. We were just too young to even be doing it. We were too young, too young. I know I was too young, and I know that like it was too soon. It was too soon for my little body. It was too soon, way too soon. So after we're like done and everything, my back is like hurting, okay? So I got like a nasty rug burn on my back, like, like a quarter size right there, okay? Nasty, nasty, nasty. I felt it immediately when it was happening, but I couldn't be like, get up because then it would have been a fight. So I say goodbye, Tommy tells me, that she could pick me up, that where am I at? And I tell her, she's like, okay, cool. I'll be over there. Did you start recording there? Huh? Yeah, I've been recording. I'm almost like a couple hours in. Why, baby, you didn't think I was? Ooh, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Mmm, that's so good, thank you. Did you get one too? No, I got me water. You wanna do half and half then? No, it's fine. It's gonna take me all over my calories. You chug it, it's cool. So as I'm walking to the gas station, I'm like telling myself like, make sure you put on Neosporin because you are going to scar ugly in that area. So Tammy doesn't even take that long to pick me up and I'm like really excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, like even though my mama got locked up today, <laughs> it's a good day, it's a good day. So Tommy picks me up and I'm kind of like sitting like this, like I'm not letting my back hit the seat because like it hurts it hurts okay and she's asking me like why i'm sitting like that and then immediately after she's like make sure you put a band-aid legs and i'm like okay so we ended up going to her house and she tells me that she's going to have some friends over but that she wants me in my room that she doesn't want me out anything like that that like i need to stay in the room and in the morning that we're going to talk about like the situation of like where where am, I, where am I going? Am I staying with them? Like, what's all of it? I'm like, okay. I just say okay. Because, like, honestly, like, I don't, she don't even need to let me stay with her. She could just be like, um, just because your mom got locked up doesn't mean that you're going to stay with me, you know? I, listen, I stayed in the room. I was watching TV. I was having a normal, normal, normal day. Like, it really was, honestly, the most normal days that I had in a minute. Everything felt good i was just chilling having a good time a few times people did come to the back door and like open it and i was like oh, i can't come in here like super loud and tommy was like hey don't be going back there which i thought was cool that she did enforce it because y'all know the tea and drama from last time of all that right i didn't go to sleep until like everybody left it was all good vibes mr peach and mrs peach checked in and asked like if i was going to be able to make it i told them no they said okay well we can we can do it tomorrow and i was like okay thank you for understanding lex you did not need to thank you nothing Ooh, the base looks good the eyes look good I want to try these ones too. These look nice. Dang, that's pigmented. So the next day rolls around and I wake up, clean up, because there was a mess from the night before, which is totally fine. I've always been raised to clean up, help out, even if it's not your mess, especially if they are letting you stay. You get up and clean up. Don't be like, oh, well, I, I didn't make this mess. And is you paying rent? And even if you are, you help out. So I get to cleaning and as I'm cleaning, I get a message from the peaches and they are asking me if I want to join them. They're gonna go and play soccer at the park with some friends and have like a little barbecue and that they would love for me to go that I don't have to stay the night or anything like that unless I want to, but they wanted to include me. And I was like, okay, around what, what time? Ask them the time and Mr. Peach says that he can come and pick me up within like an hour or two. I'm like, okay, great. I think that'll be enough time to like clean, take a shower, all of that. So as I'm getting ready to do all of that, my little mind is just excited. And I'm like, 
well, they apologize. Like, it's okay, you know? That's what my mind's thinking. Like, oh, it's okay. Which, it was so easy for me to forget and so easy for me to forgive. I don't know why. So as I'm cleaning, I'm getting in the groove and I'm like, mm-hmm, I'm gonna go hang out, it's okay. I don't know why I would do this. If someone can help me out, please let me know down below. Why would I do that? Why was I so quick to forgive and be like, okay, yeah, all is done. They apologize, it's okay. I did it so much and I catch myself even still doing it and my husband has to be the one to tell me like Alexis and like bring up everything and I'm like ew now I don't even want to go anymore and he's like why were you gonna go in the first place and I'm like oh no I don't know why I am like that and I hate it because other people aren't considerate and think about me or be like oh, I shouldn't have done that to her you know what I mean? Chilla bang. So I'm cleaning, all excited. Tammy wakes up and she's making her coffee and she's like telling me, thanks for cleaning up. How long have I been up? And I was like, oh, not that long. She asks me if I have any plans. And I tell her, yeah, I'm gonna go to the park. She goes with who? I tell her, she puts down her coffee all dramatic and goes, is wrong with you <laughs> what like i literally have the nerve to even mouth what like if she's wrong she's like alexis literally not even like days ago this 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 and she's like telling me all over again and i'm like yeah but they're sorry <laughs> she tells me that's not how it works that's not how it works that they're only sorry because they're trying to cover their ass that come on alexis like you're smarter than this come on Come on. And I'm like, what? Like, I even have a little attitude with her because I'm like, they're sorry. Like, they literally said sorry. And she's like looking at me, trying to see like if the screws are loose in my head or something. Because she's like, for real? Like, for real? And I'm like, yeah. And this just tells you how much of a child I still was because I literally was so upset that she was trying to ruin my fun. I wasn't seeing like, oh, they're trying to buy me. They're trying to like cover their ass or whatever. I was just so upset that she was ruining my fun to go and hang out. She tells me to sit next to her and I'm like, I don't want to. And she's like, no, I need you to sit next to me so that you can hear me. And I'm like, I can hear you just fine. And she goes, Alexis, I'm not gonna ask you again. So I sit next to her and she starts telling me that I need to be smarter. That I need to use my head and she like touches my head. I'm like, don't because I get mad and I wasn't even trying to hear her. I was just waiting till she was done talking so that I could tell her what was what. And I didn't need to tell her what was what because she knew what was what. I didn't have to speak. It was one of those things like all I needed to do was listen in that moment, take what she was saying, respect it, and that was that. I didn't need to say anything else. I just needed to shut up and listen honestly so she's going back and forth with me and she tells me that i'm not going she's like no no these people need to understand well, what they did was not okay and you are not going do you hear me and i'm like i'm going and she like laughs and she's like no you're not no you're not and i'm like yeah i am yes i am she proceeds to tell me like do i not remember calling and crying and telling her like I can't believe they did that like Alexis like what is wrong with you and she tells me that like yeah I might really need like some help to process all these things because there's no way in hell that I can quickly forget what they did what they just did and I am like it's okay like it's okay they apologized and she goes Alexis and she grabs me by my chin are you kidding me? Did you not hear how you were crying? I'm like, but it's okay. Like, it's okay. She's just like, I don't want to cry because I'll make it look cute. She just hugs me because she's like, oh baby, that I need to love myself more because that is not okay. And she is not going to let me go. That if they come, 
to this apartment if they even think that she's going to let me go. That's gonna be a cold day in hell. That she is not going to let me go. And I am just like, wow. You are such a hater. <laughs> I'm like so mad because I want to go. But I could not understand in that moment what was wrong with me. Why I wanted to go so bad. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss out. I want to go. And she was like, no. And I think even I knew that it was not okay because I wanted to go so bad, but I knew that I couldn't. Like I knew not to disobey her and like go through with it. You know what I mean? Like I, I knew, I knew in a way, I was just like too scared to like get up and do it because she was like, no. Like, do you hear me? No. And I feel like Tommy knew I was broken, hurting, and she just didn't know how bad until that moment, I bet. And she said, oh, baby, and got me. And I was like, <clears throat> you know? Anyways, don't cry. So I go to the restroom and I text Mr. Peach that I'm not gonna be able to go. And he calls me immediately and he's like, what's going on? ¿Qué está pasando? Why can't you come? And I'm like, um, my tia says no. Why? Why? And he seems kind of angry. And I'm like, because she just doesn't want me to hang out around you guys because of everything that happened. And he tells me that it was just a misunderstanding and that he has said sorry and he just wants to move past it. I tell him that my tia just needs time and that... I can eventually go. I just, he just, they, she just needs time. I did not know that that conversation was not okay. At the time, little Lex was just like, they just really care. No, no. I was smart at times, but not all times. Oh, since Tommy forbid me from going, I just sat there kind of throwing like a little fit and there was a knock at the door i was so scared i really thought it was mr peach i was like oh my gosh there's no way he's coming there's no way i don't know what i was thinking i was just like really paranoid and i go and answer the door because i'm scared and even tommy was like who's that alexis like mad ray right? and i'm like i don't know attitude so i go and open the door and it is sugar and spice sugar immediately hugged me and with that hug i was like tammy for sure told her tammy for sure told her because why would she just be hugging me and i was like oh yeah the i told her myself when i was crying and stuff so she hugs me and spice comes to the door and she kind of just like gives me a handshake asks me if i'm good Are you good now and i was like yeah Tammy comes out of the room and she's like, tell her, tell them what you just told me. And I was like, what? And she's like, tell them. And I was like, nothing. And she's like, no, tell them how you want to go to the park with them. And they were like, what? What is wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. They said they were sorry. And she's like, Alexis. And I was like, what? Are you being for real right now? And I was like, yeah, like I wanted to go. And for what? For what? And I was like, I don't I don't know. I wasn't thinking at the moment, y'all. I was just literally like so used to just going through emotions and just okay, done. Next. And I think they were so used to that too that that's why I think they were so upset of like how come you can't come? Ice and sugar are like you need to learn self love. I look over at Tommy and she's like and it was just so crazy to me that I lacked so much of it. I was literally like so, like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me. Like I don't know why I didn't have it. I don't know why I lacked so much of it. And they asked like, what are my plans for real, for real? <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any. And they're like, okay, let's do something. They asked Tommy if she has anything planned. She's like, nope, I'm free today. So we all get in the car 
and go shopping. Even though I didn't have any money, sugar and spice, if I like something, they're like, get it. No, no, just get it. They were like big sisters at the moment, in that moment, because the way I felt like they were distracting me without me really noticing how much they were distracting me. They were distracting me in such a nice positive way that I was just so like, I didn't know because I was always acting like I thought I was grown and in reality, I was a child. We went shopping for some cute purses and there was a lot of things that I liked, a lot of things. But I knew it wouldn't be right to be like, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. I think that's my little Lex inside when I see something I like. I'm like, oh, I want it, I need it. Do you? Not really, but do you want it? Yes. We went to go eat. Like it was just a fun day. Like it literally was. And I was like, <sighs> Tommy ends up saying that the reason that I probably wanted to go with Mr. Peach and them wasn't because I lack self-love. She was like, maybe I shouldn't have told you that. That wasn't right for me to say that. It's because you need to be distracted. And I think that's why you're okay with going. And I was like, yeah, I like that better. I like that better. She laughs and she leans over for me to give her a hug. And as I'm leaning over to give her a hug, my back is exposed and sugar and spice are like, Alexis. And I felt so embarrassed. I was like, what? Cause I tried to play it off like, oh my God, like what do they see? Sugar told me that she cannot believe that I got a bullseye. <laughs> I guess that's what it's called. And that I need to be more careful. I need to take care of myself. And oh my gosh, I got a whole two hour lecture about safe sex, protecting myself, UTIs. So many things that I never got to have with my mom because my mom's super weird about that kind of stuff. And they literally sat me down and like schooled me on so many things of like what was appropriate, what was not appropriate, and it's okay to say no. And asking me so many questions and not making like a ugh face when I answered them and didn't make me feel weird about it. Like they were literally like, ask away. I asked so many questions and so many things and why this and why that and why does this make me cry and why this and why is this sometimes and it was just so awesome to feel like in that moment that I felt heard and they didn't judge me and then we eventually started talking about my stepdad and the way they talked about it versus the way that Mrs. Peach talked about it so different so different where I literally was telling them things that I never even got to tell anybody else. And I felt no judgment, no judgment. And I felt like they understood. They let me cry without touching me. And then when they did touch me, it didn't feel like it wasn't welcomed. Like it was honestly, you guys, so good to feel that in that moment. And in that moment, as everything was happening, I made sure to give my thanks because moments like that are what I prayed for. I was heard, you know? And it felt good. It honestly felt good. I was just like, hell yeah. Like, yes, yes, yes. You know that TikTok where it's like, okay, let's keep the good vibes going. Pretty much was Tommy. And Tommy was like, all right, let's head back to the house. And we went with her to the liquor store, waited in the car. She came out, she got, she got some good stuff, and she was like, all right, let's go. We went back to the, the place, and she invited some people over. I didn't have to be in the room, and I didn't feel unsafe to be out with them because I felt like sugar and spice were being so freaking nice, and it was just like good vibes. They ended up inviting some of their friends over, and... We all just had a good time. It was like literally so fun. Wasn't doing other stuff, but alcohol was just as bad. It was just as bad. And I don't know why I didn't see it as that. I don't know why I thought like, oh, but I'm not doing that. So that's okay. It's not Lex and it's not other children who are watching. It's not okay. It stunts you in so many ways and not good for your brain. 
the night ends and the next morning i get a phone call and it's from my mom and she is furious we totally forgot about my mama we totally forgot about her we tried to see her that one time and that was it she was pissed she was asking how come tommy hadn't brought me up to see her i get kind of irritated with my mom because i'm like oh so now since you're like up in the cage now you want to see me oh my god alexis don't start your sh and i'm like no like for real like that's what it is because when you're out and about and you're having fun you're not worried about me you're not thinking about me you're not like oh i want to see my daughter she's like can you stop can you stop and i feel like my mom would want us to go see her when she was in there because she was lonely and she wasn't out doing her stuff and she was detoxing as well so she was like extra sad you know what i mean she couldn't be numb she's asking me where my brothers are and i tell her they're still with my stepdad and she's like why does that have him i can't believe you guys didn't listen i told tommy and i'm like tommy doesn't have any rights to my brother she's like what are you talking about so i'm on a whole tangent she's pissed off that like we didn't listen to her and that we're probably having a good old time and i'm like you know but without saying it and she's telling me that she's not going to get out for this amount of days and that things are going to change when she gets out i don't know how many times my mom gave me the spill so many times where like it was just so like i already knew the next word and the next word and the next word and the next word and she's asking me that where am i going to be staying that i better be staying with tommy and i'm like why do you care like honestly why do you care now she's like well now because i can think clear and it wasn't okay for you to be out and about doing whatever the f you wanted and i'm like okay like it was so irritating because she wasn't wrong, but she was wrong. You know what I mean? It was so hard. And I was like, okay. Tommy's waking up and she's like, is that your mom? I'm like, yeah. She's like, can I talk to her? I'm like, so midway when my mom's talking, I pass the phone to Tommy and Tommy's like, it's me. Screaming at my mom and my mom's pissed. And I'm pretty sure my mom's telling her like, you better tell her that if she ever passes the phone again, ho spiel, ho spiel. So as she's talking to my mom, I'm starting to clean up the area and sugar wakes up she asks me how's the morning been and i'm like good she's like good good as soon as she said that i was like something's up something's up i asked her immediately I'm like why what's up she's like nothing chill and i'm like no like what's up she's like oh my god bruja chill and i'm like what did you guys do she's like nothing just chill and i'm like oh like right away i could just sense something was up she didn't even have to tell me just how she said how was your morning just her vibe i was like something i can smell it what are you doing bro? finishing up my hair oh, okay. yeah you gonna drink it or no no don't lie i'm not okay so then i'm gonna go to home depot because they're about to close at eight okay you really don't want it no promise promise so i keep asking her and i'm like what is it she's like nothing i'm like oh my god so my mom and tammy are still yelling and my my mom i guess is telling her to do this and do this and she's like i'm not going to do that i am not going to do that and just screaming vice ends up waking up and tells tommy just to hang up on that bitch and i'm like ah that's my mom she's like oh sorry I didn't know who she's talking to. And I was like, uh-huh. And Spice goes, so how's your morning? And I'm like, what did y'all do? What did y'all do? Like, because now at this point, like, obvious bruja in here? No. Something's up, right? And she goes, nothing. What? Chill out. And I'm like, no, what did you guys do? Like, nothing. Chill out. I'm like, no. What did y'all do? We didn't do nothing. And I was like, mm. I just remember being tipsy and then watching like some movies and knocking out. Like I don't remember like every single little thing that night, right? I just remember having a good time, out. So Tammy ends up eventually hanging up with my mom because my mom is like livid. When my mom is locked up, she wants things to move a certain way and if they're not moving a certain way, she's like pissed. So Tammy tells me to start getting ready because she's going to take me to go to my mom. And I'm like, I don't want to see her. She's like, Alexis, please don't start. Please 
Mm, don't start. I'm like, fine. So I am getting ready. She hands me back my phone and tells me that she does not want me talking to Mr. and Mrs. Peach. That like for real, to dead it already. And I'm like, okay. Rice and sugar come, in with, come with me to the restroom and they ask me like, how come I just can't let go? And I tell them it's mostly because of the babies that I adore those babies. They're like, yeah, I get it, but the family is toxic. I'm like, yeah. I tell them to please just tell me what they did. They both just like giggle and they both giggle and they're like, mm, we'll tell you later. I'm like, no, tell me now. They're like, no, because then your attitude's gonna change and you're not gonna have a good day. I'm like, just tell me now. Like, I'm not gonna have a good day unless you tell me now. Look how cute this is. Freaking love how they come in like this. Please tell me, like, please just tell me. And they're like, okay, fine, but you can't let it ruin your day. I'm like, I won't let it ruin my day. So they tell me that when I knocked out that they went through my phone, I'm like, hold up. How did you go through my phone? And Spice says that I wasn't really clever with my pin. It's Sam's number. They are harassing Sam the whole freaking night. And I made a comment of like, y'all grown as hell. Spice is like, Alexis, Alexis. I'm like, what? She's like, why? Why, why, why? And I'm like, why, what? She's like, why does it matter? Why do you care? Like, honestly, why do you care? And I tell her, like, because it's just not right. She's like, oh, you're so annoying. She's like, did I hurt her? No, I might have hurt her feelings. She's like, but I didn't put my hands on her. She's good. So they got mad at my reaction, and Spice is like, we really need to toughen you up. We really need to toughen you up. And I tell her, I'm like, I don't need toughen up. I just don't like that kind of like, I don't like it done to me. So I don't like it when y'all do it to her. And they just look at me and they're like, we're not gonna even tell you what, what else happened. I'm like, no, like, tell me what else. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're so annoying. We're not telling you. Tell me why I felt everything in me to message Sam and apologize. Even though they weren't that much older than us, a part of me was like, that's not right. So I wish I didn't have that part of me. Yeah. Because I feel like I wasn't given the same. And she like deserved it, honestly. Like giving them my diary. But I don't know why, y'all. I was like, mm-mm, that's not okay. That's not cool. And like, like she did not care. I wanted to apologize. And I think they knew I wanted to apologize on their behalf. And they snatched my phone. They snatched it with the quickness. And they're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. We are going to toughen you up. And they literally kept my phone for like, the whole day. They went with us to go see my mom. My mom was pissed, pissed because my mom was acting up in her jail cell and they pretty much just like ripped everything away from my mom. So I went to go visit my mom and I'm literally fighting with sugar and spice. Like, give me my phone, give me my phone. And they're like playing, they're playing with me. It was cute. It was a moment. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I really liked feeling like cared for. So I go and see my mom and she's like giving me all these rules and like, you better not be doing this. You better not be doing that. Da -da 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 -da. And they told my mom about the rug burn on my back. And my mom was like, that's disgusting. I'm like, okay, bye. I get up and leave and sugar and spice literally have to bring me back to like talk to my mom. And my mom's like telling me that like, I better not be going here and there. I can't be coming and going. And I'm like, because I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I asked her if my brother's talking and seen her. She's like, what does that matter to you? And that tells me right there that like, yeah, she already called up on my stepdad. She's already like trying to work things out with him. And I just like look at her and I just like shake my head. Let her say whatever the hell she wants to say because I'm already done talking to her. I'm like, okay, bye. So we leave and Sugar and Spice are telling me that they're gonna give my phone back, but I better not message the Peaches or Sam to leave it how it is and that who cares what they told her just to leave it, to stop, to stop. Then I slip the bomb. I'm like, y'all know she's pregnant, right? And they're like, no, she's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm like, yeah, she is. And they're like, no, she's not. She's not. I know. I know a pregnant body when I see a pregnant body. She's not pregnant. She's playing y'all. And I'm like, no, like she is. And I'm over here acting like I knew, like I know, right? Like, I know, I know. No, like she is. I'm like, mm -mm, she's not. I'm like, yeah, she is. <sighs> I'm literally Mexican. <laughs> and I'm like, she is. Like she is. And they're like, no, Lex, like she's not. Like, Miha, she's playing you. She's playing you. And I'm like, she is. Like, she is. Like, I'm telling y'all, she is. Like, you guys are gonna get in trouble for picking on a pregnant girl. And they're like, no, we're not. Because the thing is, she's not pregnant. And I'm like, yes, she is. They're like, she's not. She's not. And they're like, I bet you a hundred books she's not. And I'm like, she is. And I'm like, okay, it's gonna come out. She's not. And then Sugar goes on to say that she 
knows when people are pregnant and she is not pregnant and i'm like okay whatever tommy even chimes in is like she's not she's not she's probably did whatever she 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 did something she got in trouble she thought okay i'm gonna say i'm pregnant to get out of it she's not so we're all like literally having this conversation poor sam's ears are probably burning because we're talking about her we go back to the house and we're literally just chilling it's all good vibes and i get a message from sam I try to not read it in front of them because I'm like, I don't want them to be like, why are you messaging her? You know? So I just like, I need to go to the restroom. And so I go to the restroom and Sam is like apologizing and that to please call off sugar and spice. She knows it's Sam that's messaging her and she's so sorry and that she doesn't want any drama at all. And she's so sorry. She's going to make it up to me. And that just to give her time, to give her time to, to please not to quit. And that she's so sorry that she's in so much trouble and that she really, really does apologize. I just leave it at that because I'm not going to even try to respond to it or anything like that. I'm like, mm, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. So... I come out and they're literally standing right there posted up and they're like, let me see your phone. And I'm like, I didn't, I didn't message her. Let me see your phone. I'm like, I did not message her. I promise. She messaged me. That was it. I wanted to read it because you guys were down my neck and like what she say. So I told them what, they, what, they, what she said and they're like, just leave it. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting out in the living room with Tommy and Sugar and Spice and we're just like having a good time. Literally just like kicking back. They literally have taught me so many things of like, Make sure you move like this. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Make sure you change this. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that and don't do this. And literally just like schooling me on things that like I had no idea about. No idea about. So my mom had told Tommy that she wanted her to get some really important papers from my stepdad's place. And Tommy was like, Lex, can you message him and tell him that you need these papers? I'm like, he's not going to give them to me. If he knows like oh my mom wants something like he he does not care it broke my heart and i don't know why I, my heart was never prepared when i already know this is how they move she was like he's gonna give them to you because him and your mom they're talking it's good he already knows i was so mad because my mom would say one thing and then do another and i was just like okay so i ended up messaging him and i was like hey me and tommy are gonna pass by can you please give me the papers for my mom and he was like yes how is she doing don't talk to me so sugar and spice ended up leaving me and tommy we ended up going over to his spot got the papers we ended up going back to the place and tommy's asking me if i'm okay and that it's complicated and that when i get older i'll understand and i'm like can you please stop telling me that can you please stop telling me that because like i don't think it's true like i don't think it's true i don't think it's true she's telling me just to like chill out and go on my phone or something that like it's it's complicated and it's always going to be complicated and i was so angry at her i was just like okay my mom ends up calling a little bit later she's asking us like what we're doing and everything she's like in a really good mood she asked us if we got the papers. I'm like, yep. She's like, okay, cool. So tomorrow, bring the papers. And when you guys bring the papers, she's going to probably get out sooner. Or whatever. I don't even know what the papers are for. Like, I don't, I really did not care. I have an attitude with her. And she's like, tell me to fix my attitude. That when I get out, we are going to live under the same roof. And I'm like, with who? She's like, Alexis. And I'm like, yes. She's like, when I get out, I'm like, I don't want to. She's like, oh my God, you're going to start again. And I'm like, oh my, oh my gosh. She tells me that she needs to do what she needs to do and that we're just gonna suffer for a little bit, but we're gonna be okay. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like, literally you guys, how many times have we heard the same thing? Literally, literally. So I just let her go off and I tell Tommy that like, I don't want to go tomorrow. Tommy's like, Alexis, please don't. Alexis, please don't. She already knows. And I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna start it's about to go i'm already i'm starting i'm starting because i'm like mm, i do not want to live under the same roof and i feel like i keep saying this i need to get a t-shirt i need to write it on my forehead i don't want to i don't want to my mom really needs these important important papers they were important to her and i was like i'm gonna act like i lost them so <laughs> I acted like I lost them for a little bit. Tommy was like literally the lighter under my ass. And she was like, Alexis, don't play with me. Where is the f papers? Because she was just as terrified as my mama. And I went on a four hour, like, I don't know where they're at. I don't know where that. Just messing with her. Just messing with her, okay? 
the next day, just messing with her. And then I eventually just caved in and I was like, they're over there. She was so pissed off at me that she did not want to be in the same room as me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to go, huh? No, you can stay. You got what you wanted. You got what you wanted. You can stay. And I was like, okay, fine. So I just stayed back and Tommy went and got my mama out. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Besos a todos. I hope you guys like the look today. I really love teal. Like, look how pretty it is. Like, Gorgeous, gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time and the makeup look. If you guys enjoy story times, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.